The concept of the eternal return, famously associated with the philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, is a thought experiment that challenges us to confront the significance of our lives and the choices we make. Nietzsche described the eternal return as the idea that our lives, exactly as we live them, could repeat themselves infinitely in the same sequence, down to the smallest detail. Imagine every moment, every decision, every joy and sorrow happening over and over again without end. For Nietzsche, this was not just a metaphysical hypothesis, but a tool to provoke deep introspection. Think for a moment about the last decision you made, whether it was trivial or life-changing. In the context of the eternal return, this decision would be made not once, but countless times, eternally replayed in the exact same way. If you knew that every action would reverberate through an endless loop, would that change the way you live? Nietzsche's idea compels us to evaluate our lives with an acute awareness of their significance, asking us to live as though each moment is both finite and infinite, as though every action carries the weight of eternity. This thought experiment pushes us to consider the value of our lives from a new perspective. If our lives were to repeat endlessly, would we be content with the patterns we've set? Are there regrets or missed opportunities that, when viewed through the lens of eternal recurrence, demand immediate attention? The eternal return invites us to embrace our existence fully, to live with a sense of purpose and authenticity, as though we are crafting a life we would gladly live again and again. In a practical sense, this concept can serve as a powerful motivator for self-reflection and personal growth. It encourages us to ask ourselves, what would we change if we knew our lives were on repeat? Would we cultivate different relationships, pursue different goals, or approach our daily routines with more intention? The eternal return challenges us to live deliberately with an awareness of the potential endlessness of our actions, urging us to create a life that we would willingly relive for all eternity. The concept of the eternal return also calls into question the nature of time and the linear progression we typically associate with it. In our day-to-day -day lives, we often view time as a series of events moving from the past to the future, with each moment unique and unrepeatable. However, the idea of the eternal return disrupts this notion suggesting a cyclical nature to existence where every moment recurs in an endless loop. This cyclical perspective forces us to confront the idea that the present is not merely a fleeting moment, but a recurring reality. How might this shift in perspective influence the way we perceive our current experiences? This perspective encourages us to view our present actions with a heightened sense of awareness and responsibility. If every experience from the mundane to the extraordinary is destined to be relived endlessly, then the weight of our choices becomes even more significant. The small, seemingly insignificant decisions, how we treat others, how we spend our time, the thoughts we entertain, are all magnified in importance. The eternal return asks us to live with a sense of intentionality, to choose actions that we would be content to repeat forever. It's a call to live a life aligned with our deepest values and desires, knowing that we are the architects of our own eternal experience. Moreover, the eternal return challenges us to find meaning and joy in the present moment, regardless of its circumstances. If every moment, good or bad, must be lived again, how do we come to terms with the difficulties and hardships we face? Nietzsche's idea suggests that we must learn to embrace life in its entirety, with all its highs and lows, joys and sorrows. By accepting the totality of our experiences, we develop a resilience and a love for life that transcends temporary discomforts. This acceptance doesn't mean resignation to suffering, but rather a profound affirmation of life as it is, a celebration of existence in all its forms. Consider how this concept might influence the way we approach goals and aspirations. Often we are driven by a desire to achieve, to reach a future state of being where we believe happiness or fulfillment will reside. The eternal return disrupts this future-oriented thinking, urging us to find fulfillment in the now, in the process of living itself. If every step of our journey is to be relived eternally, then the journey becomes as important as the destination. This idea can inspire us to seek joy in the present, to find purpose and meaning in our current actions, and to cultivate a sense of gratitude for the moment we are in 
knowing that it is one we will return to again and again. Finally, the eternal return invites us to confront our fears and anxieties about the future. In a world where time is circular and every event is bound to repeat, the fear of the unknown loses its power. Instead, we are left with the task of embracing the life we have and making peace with our choices. This can be a liberating realization, freeing us from the constant pressure to control or predict the future and allowing us to focus on living authentically in the present. The eternal return is, at its core, a philosophical call to live with courage, to face life's challenges head-on, and to embrace the fullness of our existence with open arms.